On this episode, we continue our European cruise with the exploration of Spain's Atlantic coast. We make a stop in Bilbao, where we admire the city's architecture and experience its unique vibe. Then the dawn encounters hurricane force winds and rough seas along Spain's northern coast, and we miss a port of call in La Coruña. We then make port in Vigo, Spain, where we explore two ancient castles. We see a replica of Columbus' ship La Pinta in the town of Bayona. Then we finish our adventure touring Vigo's scenic streaks. We hope you enjoy this video. Hey there, I'm Rose. And I'm Dan. And, and we, we are, are the Half-Ass Half Travelers. Travelers. Bastards. We are in Bilbao, Spain. Spain. I believe that's how you pronounce that. Bilbao, Bilbao. España. And we have never been here before. Uh, we don't have any plans for today. I think what we're going to do is take a shuttle maybe into the town and see if there's anything of historical, historical significance. We're also going to get some tapas. Yes, can't wait for that. This is our first stop in Spain, so we got to get the tapas. Yep. All right, we're on our way. Well, we are here in Bilbao, Spain. Yeah, it was a short, well, not so short walk to the train station. To the, yeah, to the subway, and then only a 20 minute ride About or so mm -hmm. uh, to get over here. Um, it was pretty inexpensive. What cost us like $7.60 for each both? Each way for both of us. Each yeah. way, yeah. It was, it was very reasonable rates. Mm -hmm. But we're going to explore. This is the old town of old. The old Look behind us. Yeah. So cool. So this is the old part of the city. So we're just gonna take a look around, see what's here. Yep. And possibly get something to eat. Of course. Rose is hungry. Top us. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> All right, let's go.
hope you guys enjoyed our walk around the city of Bilbao. Yeah, the streets, the architecture, the people, the vibe of this place. It's just amazing. Yeah, it's great. We really liked it. And we hope you enjoyed it as well. But now we've got to catch the Metro back to the ship. See you later. Oh, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Last we talked to you, we were in Bilbao, Spain, and we were supposed to go to La Coruña, Spain on the following day. However, mm -hmm. the last 36 hours or so have been very different. Uh, we ran through, when we left Bilbao, we ran through a really intense storm. We're talking about winds that were hurricane 80. force, miles up to 80 hour. miles an hour. The seas were up to 30 feet. It was incredible. I mean, it was just, the, we were getting battered and beaten. The ship was creaking. We didn't get any sleep. I mean, just, there's a it bunch of people rough. walking around the ship like zombies. Very who, rough. If you could walk, because the ship was rocking so much that we were moving from side to side. It was without a doubt, in all our cruises, the roughest seas we have ever encountered on a cruise. Most definitely. So obviously we did not get to go into that port. We bypassed it. Yep. Luckily, yesterday evening, it started to calm down. This morning, it finally calmed down enough, and now we are in... Vigo. We're in Vigo, Spain. So our plans for this port are now back on track. We're gonna go take a little walk around the, the town, and then we have an excursion scheduled for this afternoon, where we're gonna go out to Bayona. I think Bayona, yeah. Yes, and there's a surprise there that we're dying to see. So when we get there, we'll share it with you. Yep, see you Ready? then. All right. Let's go. Hey guys, hey. well, we took a little bit of a tour of a uh, castle in Vigo mm -hmm. and now we're in Bayona and we're exploring the castle Paradors, I think it is. Paradoras, yeah. Paradors Castle. And what else did we see? Well, right behind us, I don't know if you can see it, you can't, it's behind a tree, but there is a replica of uh, the, the Pinta, yeah. one of Columbus's uh, three ships that they took to find the new world. Yeah. And we just found out that when La Pinta returned to Spain, this is the port it returned to. So this port and these people were the first Europeans to hear about the discovery of the new world. Very cool. Yeah, real cool. Now we're gonna, dis now we're gonna discover this castle. Can't wait. <laughs> 